Hello everybody, what is up? Of course my name is Mason, and welcome back to another Witcher 3 Let's Play video. Where we last left off, we continued our investigation of Yennefer, and we were brought to this guy. This guy told us, hey, kill a griffin, and I'll tell you where, he, uh, where she is. So, we need to ask a hunter questions on where he found bodies of the, uh, the people. You know, there was a, a group that this dude here had sent to hunt the griffin. A few days later, a hunter found their bodies. Uh, so, you know, we need to go talk to him about that. And then we also need to go ask a herbalist about some buckthorn, which is a sort of, uh, what's it called, herb that will allow us to uh, lure the uh, griffin into a trap. Freak? I'm not a freak, you're a freak. Anyways. Hunter about the uh the bodies. Oh boy. Fast travel. Once discovered, signposts will allow you to fast travel from one location to another. Walk up to a signpost and press A to fast travel. Pretty cool. Fast traveling destinations. Use the left stick to select a destination marked with a uh, fast travel on the map, then press A to travel there. Um, oh crap, we gotta go all the way back here. Oh, we could just uh, fast travel to the Wo uh, the Wo Song Bridge. Alright, which one's closer? Oops, wrong button. Ask the hunter where he found the body. Okay, so let's go do that one first. <laughs> I gotta say, they put a lot of detail into this game. And I just, I love it. I cannot wait to, uh, Explore this world. Uh, the new Netflix uh, original series for The Witcher season two will be coming out this year in December, I think. All right, here's the hunter. So, uh... anyone home? Must be out hunting. Okay, hold left trigger to use your Witcher senses. When you find tracks or other clues, walk close and then press A to examine them. fresh. This love just left home. Oops. Hmm. Follow the tracks. Where to find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. 
That monster slayer that he's talking about in the village. Well, I'll show you, sure. But uh, I've got to kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Why not? Sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. No. Dogs might, though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs have been a problem for a while now. Since the war started, soldier on the march, you'd stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. And a dog, a kick in passing, and a more. So these stray months full packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies. But they just won't die. Figured out how to shoot the right weapon without throwing the other one. Oh, dude. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Dieter. You know him. We served at the Lord's Manor together. Where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, and I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before. Sorry for your loss, man. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. Nah, I'm a freak too. I'm a freak too. Why? But of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that the Lord's son, Florian, and I, we loved each other. Oh. Dita walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. Oh. Oh, God. Why did I... Why did I... I mean, that makes sense when it's like, I'm a freak, I'm a monster. You, in medieval times, most people think lycanthropy. It makes sense. I was not expecting that. Not that, that was not, not that I'm against that. Um, love is love. I'm just going to out and say it. Love is love. Anyways, let's get back to the game. Sorry. Ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilfgaardians. Come. You gained an ability point. I don't know anything about it. Not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. Silent No Griffin can hear me nor spy me. Uh, well, character navigate to the character panel. When you gained a certain number of experience points, you, get, you advance to the next level. You get experience points for killing monsters and completing quests. You have received ability points. You receive ability points each time you gain a level. Using these points, you can acquire new abilities or improve on ones you already have. An ability's color indicates which branch it belongs to. <coughs> Excuse me. Use the left stick to select an ability, then develop it by pressing X. Muscle memory. Uh, fast attack damage increased by 5%. Adrenaline point gain plus 1%. Strength training. Uh, strong attack damage increases by 5%. Uh, adrenaline point gain plus 
arrow deflection, deflect arrows while parrying. Uh, you guys know me. Uh, parrying is not my strong suit, but, uh, okay. Lightning reflexes. Time slowed by an additional 15% while aiming a crossbow. Well, I don't have a crossbow yet. No point in doing that. Resolve. Adrenaline points lost upon taking damage is lowered by 20%. Okay. Uh, these are all core abilities, so I assume... Okay, yeah, it says always active. Okay. Uh, we'll go with muscle and memory. I do fast attacks way more than I do heavy attacks. Are you sure you want to acquire this ability? Well, yes. Yes, I do. For an ability to take effect, uh, you must first activate it by placing it in any open ability slot. Inactive abilities will have no effect. Select an ability and press A, then select an empty slot using the left stick and press A to activate the ability. You can deactivate any abilities at any time and activate others in their place. Okay. Finally, a game where the NPCs actually move fast. jump clock to because that's what I'm used to for like the longest time. Anyways. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I guess while using winter senses I can't Your sense reminds me a lot about the, the grabbing ledges, the jumping over large gaps. Oop! Ooh, okay, too close. 
Hold B during your lead so you can grab onto any outcrops uh, by the side. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait, ow. Can I take me? Ow. Fuck me. Ah, oh, crap. I just set that lost mess on fire. Uh. Okay. Um. Maybe. I don't know. Let's find out. Thick shaft. Dense barbs. Royal griffin. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten and twelve years old. Griffins bear off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Up on her while she slept. Oh no. So someone hunted this poor griffin, killed it, and I think the male is probably like pissed off and upset. Uh, so that's why he's going on this rampage. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nelf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Okay. Now. Preparing for combat, never underestimate your opponent. This rule, this rule is at the core of the Witcher's Code, and for good reason. Proper preparation has saved many a Witcher's life. It is likewise worth your while to brew potions, concoct oils, or visit craftsmen before engaging in combat. Blacksmiths forge weapons while armors craft armor. If you expect the bat uh, to battle a strong opponent, you might want to complete a couple of side quests before attacking. This will allow you to gain more experience and develop your character, giving you a better chance at winning the fight. Interesting. I think this is the first time I, a video game has ever said, Hey, before you go fight this big boss, how about you go do some side quests? Uh, interesting. It is a recommendation, though. Um, but yeah. Okay. Um, let us... Wrong button. Uh... Let us, where is the nearest signpost? It's down there at the broken bridge. Uh, and we'll fast travel over to the sawmill and then go talk to the herbalist. All right, let's go. Why did I expect to walk through that body, dumbass? Intensity increase. Interesting. So not only do these things give you ability points. Yeah, wow. Okay. Not only do these things give you ability points, but I guess they also give you um uh they also increase your signs. Um Um, should we invest in another combat? Should 
we look into some signs. Huh. Okay, damage dealt by Igni also permanently weakens enemy armor. Effect skills with sign intensity up to a maximum of 15% and stamina re regeneration in combat plus uh, it add, it's quicker basically. It adds uh, point, uh, half a second. Uh, sustained glyphs increase sign, increase sign duration by 5 seconds. Number of alternative mode charges 7. Number of standard mode traps 1. Exploding Shield. Quinn pushes opponents back when it breaks. Okay. Delusion. Target does not move towards Geralt while he is ca casting Axie. Also increases the effectiveness of Axie in dialogues. Huh. See, this is what... Ooh, damn it. I keep bumping my controller and that's what's pressing all the damn buttons. Anyways, um... Well, increase strong attacks, deflect arrows, and looks like we don't unlock these. Okay, additional points in branch needed to unlock seven. So we could we could improve on muscle memory. Fast at uh, next level, fast attack is increased by oh, god damn it resting until a specific time selects a time uh select a time using l and press a jeez louise okay all right um so that goes up by uh another five percent and increases our adrenaline point gain by two percent all right we're gonna oh, well it's already activated um we are going to upgrade. Yes. Okay. So, there was another, there was another place of power, um, earlier. Let's, we found it in the last episode. I was traveling down and Gerald had made that same comment about medallions glowing. It's got to be a place of power. Okay, well the medallion was glow- or the thing was doing its thing, but I guess I didn't discover the location. Uh, okay then, uh, oops, hold on. Alright, so, we'll go down to the broken bridge, we fast travel to the sawmill, and then go here. Sounds like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Let's go. See, this game is kind of like Skyrim in the fact that you gotta collect everything. Alchemy is a very prevalent part of this game. Uh, you don't have to really dabble in alchemy with Skyrim, but you do have to dabble. You really, if you if you expect the game to be, oh boy, uh, we got some enemies coming up on us. Oh, hey, hey. Back up, guys. You done? Alright. That's what I thought. I was trying to use... Damn it, it's right trigger. I knew it was freaking right trigger. Oh. Definitely got to uh, heal up.
Right out. Alright, now that that's done. Let's us. Y'all might be wondering, Mason, why aren't you taking Roach right about now? Uh, because... Uh, Roach controls are kind of... Ugh. Okay, something tells me I went completely past the broken bridge. Uh... I'll be damned. I did. Okay. Well, guess we're walking on foot. Push open the door. Okay, that's bad time. Not at all. Hand me the bag of tickets. The red, blue. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar takes poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Uh. Yeah. Did the Griffin do that? to give her swallow? I don't know. Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here. Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. Well, I was thinking. A few years ago, we had trouble drowners under the bridge. The whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar something something. Ah, oh, good to know the black ones are looking out for our welfare. Captain Peter, I Doubt think. Doubt Emperor Mere cares about you. But this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe next time. Oh. Quest updates. When, you, when one of your quests is updated, a notification will appear on the left side of the screen. Really? Uh, if you're not currently tracking the updated quest, you can press R to start tracking it. Oh, okay, cool. Brew a dose of the Swallowing Potion. Um. Huh. Okay. Um. How do I do that? Alchemy? Okay, um... Pinning formula and diagrams if you want to see a list of components or ingredients required for a given formula or diagram when you enter the shop panel, select it, and perform the pin action. If you select a crafting diagram or alchemy formula and pin it, 
A list of components or ingredients needed to create that item will appear in the shop panel. This, cre this makes it easier to keep track of what you still need to acquire. That is actually really cool and I really like that. Um, potions, that's what we need. Potions. Swallow. Um, okay, we're gonna pin it. Now up here in the shop panel. Now where is said shop panel? Oh, bestiary. Entries in the bestiary provide additional information about monsters, including tips and strategies for how, how best to fight them. Press B to close the bestiary. Okay. Um... Once again, oh, wow, well, okay. A witcher's potion could save her life or cause her to perish in agony. <laughs> I, I did not know that this was a thing. I did not see this last episode. But my goodness, I can collect them all. Complete your collection of Gwent cards. Wow. Okay. Um. So, um, we do this one. Um, brew a dose of the swallow potion. What exactly do I need again? Uh, we'll close this. Uh, but, but, but. Um. We need a Dwarven Spirit, Celadine, and a Drowner Brain. I have a very bad feeling that uh, that's going to be hard as hell to find. Um, okay. Um, oh, oh, okay. Okay, so we need a Dwarven Spirit, Celadine, and a Drowner Brain. I really hope we do not... Drown Drowners! Drowners! By the bridge! That's what, um, that's what this herbalist just said. So, when we go do that, um, we can see if we can't find a drowner brain. Because I really want to help her. Um, but yeah. Uh, and then Celadine, don't know, we might be able to find it in the shop. And then Dwarven Spirit. Spirit is a type of alcohol, so I know for a fact we'll be able to find it probably in the, um, at that tavern place. So, I'll just go ahead and exit out. But that, my friends, is where we are going to end this day's, today's episode. If you like what, if you like what you see, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, join the notification. You all know the drilly drill. Um, and anyways, that is the end of today's episode here. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And this is May the Mage, signing off. Good boy!